we've seen another lackluster inside Xbox. And with the series now memed as a complete bore and waste, here's insight on why they just need to cancel the damn show. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells so you know when your boy's dropping these doses or these episodes of the medicine. I appreciate all y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason why. I ain't too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So yesterday, we had another or the day prior to this recording, rather, let me say it like that. We had another inside Xbox, okay? It was stealth dropped, all right? Came out April 7th, 2020. And normally you don't wanna stealth drop stuff like that because we're in a, we're in a situation where people are festering upon news for from Xbox and PlayStation in lieu of the, of the um, up and coming um, console releases, right? Um, for next gen. And I get it, inside Xbox, hasn't been a good steward of breaking excellent news, but that's not that's not the way that this was introduced to the public when it came back. Um, it was introduced to the public to be something exciting and refreshing, and it simply isn't doing that. And in a time frame where Xbox is seeing momentum because of news of the Xbox Series X, people are thirsting to see what games actually look like on the system. They are seeing some sustained momentum finally. You know what I'm saying? Because I've even, I've even done videos in the past where I said it was the ebb and flow where Microsoft does something, Sony smacks it down. Being that the um, Xbox Series X is seeing sustained interest in the community, that has to be maintained because Microsoft, even though they may have the momentum, they're still battling back from behind. So with the 500 pound elephant in the room being asked, is Xbox gaining anything <laughs> from these uh, inside Xbox shows? Are they at least meeting the criteria that they set out there for themselves? And if the answer to both of those are no, why in the hell is it still being aired? We're gonna get behind all of that and answer those questions, all right? But first and foremost, let's talk about the history behind the show. Inside Xbox, um, if my recollection serves me right, started way back in the 360 era, right? And it was known to uh, premiere breaking games like Bioshock, you know what I'm saying? And, and Mass Effect, I believe, was 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 shown there too. You, you got your first glimpses of those games there. And then it was like some of the more rinkier, dinkier games behind the scenes always shown. It, all, it always wasn't a blockbuster, but you always got some important content there that amazed the masses for those that were the nerds that wanted to see regular Xbox content. If you were one of those nerds, you were given a treat. You, your time wasn't quote unquote wasted, right? Now, it got canceled back in 2012 and then it was revamped in March 10th of 2018, okay? And after it was revamped, this is what they said you would be getting from inside Xbox, okay? They, and this came from Tina Summerfield, Director of Programming at Xbox, March 5th, 2018. And this uh, letter from news.xbox.com, she says, I'm thrilled to announce that Inside Xbox will debut on March 10th, 12 p.m. Um, PST, marking the dawn of a brand new way for the team to celebrate our news, our games, and our fans. Inside Xbox is many things. A premier live news broadcast that will highlight breaking announcements and peak behind the curtain of Team Xbox. A glimpse at the mysteries of game design and a celebration of some of the, mo the month's most exciting games and features. Most of all, it's an opportunity for us to celebrate and listen to you, the community. All of this will be available streaming 4K UHD on supported devices and platforms. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom because here's like the mission statement pretty much as far as I'm concerned. We hope Inside Xbox will become a monthly communal event for us and for you. 
We hope you will be energized by what's coming. See that? Better educated about what's new. See that? And empowered to better enjoy your favorite pastime with great new features and content. I want everybody to be honest with you, so Xbox fan or not, are you excited? <laughs> are you energized? Do you really feel better educated about anything prevalent to your gaming experience? By an inside, if you never watched an inside Xbox, do you feel like you would lose out on anything? Because this is the mission statement from Xbox themselves. And look, even when the show started, even though the content wasn't the greatest, here goes a, a summary provided by uh, Game Informer. Like even in the first episode, at least the first episode features an inside look at Sea of Thieves and its developers, Rare, an interview with developers at Ubisoft about Far Cry 5, hmm, and an interview about players' unknown battleground. So at least, the, even though it wasn't the content per se that was the issue at first, it was the presentation that was a bore. But now we've gotten to the point to where not only the content is lackluster, but the presentation is bad as well. So again, if your mission statement was to make people energized, to better educate and empower them to better enjoy their favorite pastime, but now you've gotten to a point to where if Inside Xbox never aired, it might be better for you to keep your momentum because look, here's the thing people, Xbox and games are mean. If anybody else showed the Xbox One X, it would be a slam dunk. If they showed the Xbox One X over the uh, PlayStation 5 as far as capabilities, it would be a slam dunk. Or even in reverse, if the if, if the PlayStation 5 had those specs <laughs> and Xbox had PlayStation 5 specs, it would be a slam dunk, right? But the meme is Xbox has no games. And this is where I need my Xbox brethren to play t pay attention and get out of their silos. Memes stick. We still have people that won't purchase Xboxes because of garbage that happened in 2013. And you'd be surprised at how many people those are, right? I still come across them mentioning it to me all the time. And these aren't fanboys, they're just, they're just Larry of Microsoft, right? So because we know meme stick, and that is the particular meme of Xbox, I don't think Xbox should release any material that go that that feeds that meme. You know, if you don't have any games to show that are going to like to, to incite the masses, maybe do a quick blurb of it, maybe do a quick write up of it, do a little quick advertisement of it, and then let it go. Let it go. Don't keep having this show. Especially because now here's what's going to happen. The E3 presentation or E3-like presentation that Microsoft is going to have to do is going to be hamstrung. Anybody's is going to be hamstrung because of the current world events. You know what I'm saying? Like we looked at how, you know, rough shot inside Xbox was, even typ typical than normal. And it's understandable why. But again, your ability to maintain people's concentration and, and, and care for the show is already going to be dampened a little bit just because of, of things out of your control. All right. So, and then you, you got the fact that games, there may be some games that you were able to do exciting sizzle reels of that you may not be able to do that again for those same factors that you might just have to put up a splash screen. Okay. If you're not abundant, because we're starting to hear things from Phil talking about, well, we don't want to release so many games that launch. I don't know. I'm just saying, if you're not abundant in the games that you were going to show anyway, then you don't want to feed that meme going into showing not a huge abundance of new games because that's what's going to pull you back out of the muck. You see what I'm saying? So you don't want to cancel out everything by sticking to this meme. Xbox has trash games they have garbage games so don't show this stuff ground it i i get it y'all y'all felt like that maybe y'all didn't advertise bleeding edge enough so therefore y'all wanted to start advertising grounded no nobody wants those games in totality except for your base and your base isn't going anywhere 
and you got to be able to think outside of your base it's time for xbox to start pulling in people from the outside that does their marketing like at mass like they need a mass exodus of their marketing team so they can understand this no more uh bleeding edge no more showcases of grounded no more showcases of that stuff if you want to do commercials and advertise it that's that's great but no more showcases of that stuff because again it's, it's hurting the narrative and lastly i want to say this i think that what microsoft needs to understand is what is the purpose of the show you are well, we already showed their mission statement but why did they even bring this back they brought this back because of nintendo doing something similar but them seeing success with it and microsoft has a hard time trying to mimic something not seeing success with what they're with, with, what they're trying to mimic and then leaving it alone like in contrast playstation did the same thing playstation tried to mimic nintendo's treehouse or whatever you call it and they realized they don't have the content to to do it and or they just don't have the present the presence to be able to do it right so they stopped right microsoft learned to do the same thing no one to hold them no one to fold them y'all went through this before with mimicking so i mean uh nintendo with the uh motion controller thing i get to connect 1.0 was the best-selling peripheral but that's because you already had a whole bunch of saturation in the home and you weren't really like focused in those last two years on pumping out this stellar content so people had no other choice but but to opine in this that had 360s right i even bought one hardly used the damn thing you know what i'm saying everybody got to connect okay because they were curious because of how full-throated you were behind it what type of nuanced experience would you push behind it and really nothing really nothing nothing grandiose or nothing exciting so you took that that false perception of energy and brought it into the xbox one release and look what it look where it got you and this is supposed to be a new regime you're supposed to have shaken away all those bad habits right so shake away this last bad habit no one if you're going to mimic somebody on something when it's not working for you want to leave it alone because sony tried to mimic the motion control thing too with the with the with the eye toy and all the other stuff and they realized okay we're going to leave this thing alone learn to do the same thing okay and when you do that microsoft then you'll start seeing the, the seeing the, the the tides turn drastically because that's what you need and that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bull Leaks, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with that said, please, no moss. No more. No, no moss inside Xbox. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.